Hello everyone, in this video from the channel Business Now, you will have the latest crypto and investment news for August 2nd. This video is part 1. Before we begin, subscribe for daily videos. Let's get started. Hi, security firms are proposing measures to prevent future loans against $158 million worth of Curve, CRV, tokens on Aave, a DeFi lending platform. Gauntlet, a risk management specialist, presented a proposal to the Aave community members suggesting a zero loan to value LTV ratio for CRV to impede further borrowing against the collateral. This comes after an exploit on Curve Finance led to a significant drop in the CRV token's price, putting founder Michael Igorov's $168 million stash at risk of liquidation. The situation has caused bearish sentiment and raised concerns about falling prices and liquidity across the DeFi ecosystem. Wealthy DeFi players are stepping in to stabilize liquidity. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Bye. Hi, today Litecoin's blockchain is implementing its third mining reward halving, reducing the per block reward to 6.25 LTC from 12.5 LTC. Despite expectations of a surge due to supply constraint, past data suggests LTC's response to previous halvings was not bullish. After the August 2015 halving, LTC traded within a narrow range for 19 months before a breakout coinciding with the Bitcoin rally. A similar pattern occurred after the August 2019 halving. Litecoin's indifferent attitude could be attributed to Bitcoin's market performance during those times. Traders may have priced in the halvings in advance, taking profits before waiting for a potential Bitcoin bull run. LTC's current price is $90.29, with a 28.8% year-to-date gain. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Bye. Hi, let's take a look at the recent performance of Bitcoin, Ether, and Litecoin in the crypto market. Bitcoin gained 2.11% to reach $29,543 US dollars, while Ether rose 1.11% to $1,854 US dollars. However, Binance BNB and Tron showed negative trends. Litecoin, ahead of its having event, gained 0.77% and is expected to increase in scarcity. Despite the positive gains, traders are cautious as the crypto market has been under pressure since last month's peak. Decentralized stablecoin exchange Curve Finance reported a security issue, leading to concerns that it could impact DeFi. Meanwhile, the NFT market on Ethereum, Solana, and Polygon experienced fluctuations. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Bye. Hi, in the world of cryptocurrencies, market makers on Binance are supporting Curve's native token CRV after a recent exploit caused its value to crash. The bid side market depth, representing by orders within 2% of the mid price, doubled from 500,000 CRV to over 1 million CRV, indicating an influx of buy side liquidity. This surge is unusual, as market makers usually withdraw orders during market volatility. However, in this case, they offered plunge protection to stabilize the cryptocurrency and prevent potential liquidation. The quick response helped avert panic and maintain stability in the decentralized finance market. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Bye. Hi, in July, the profitability of Ordinal's inscriptions, a type of non-fungible token, NFT, on the Bitcoin network, decreased significantly. Monthly NFT services revenue dropped from 3.13 million US dollars in June to 1.22 million US dollars in July, indicating lower profitability for Ordinal sales. Despite this, Ordinal set a daily inscriptions record and showed continued support for Bitcoin native NFTs. However, the oversaturation of Ordinals and a general downturn in the NFT market contributed to the decline in profitability. Market makers and investors may be strategically positioning themselves for future Bitcoin NFT expansions. The upcoming halving event in 2024 could impact Bitcoin prices, according to a report by Standard Chartered. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Bye. Hi, Litecoin, a proof of work based blockchain, successfully completed its third halving event on Wednesday, reducing minor rewards from 12.5 to 6.25 Litecoins per block. In the 24 hours leading up to 11.15 p.m. in Hong Kong, Litecoin's price fell by 3.86% to $89.16. Similar to Bitcoin, Litecoin's having events occur every four years, and this event comes ahead of Bitcoin's own having expected in April 2024. 
Historically, these having cycles for Bitcoin and Litecoin have resulted in all-time high prices. Litecoin launched in 2011 with an initial block reward of 50 LTC and its last halving is estimated to occur in the year 2142. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Bye. Hi, cryptocurrency exchange Binance is at risk of facing fraud charges from the US Department of Justice (DOJ), but officials are considering alternatives due to concerns about a potential bank run similar to FTX's collapse. The report caused the prices of Bitcoin, BTC, and Binance BNB token to immediately fall. US authorities are cautious about indicting Binance to avoid adverse effects on the broader cryptocurrency industry and are exploring options like fines and non-prosecution agreements. Binance has already been under scrutiny by U.S. officials, with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, previously suing the company for alleged violations of U.S. laws. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Bye. Hi, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has filed civil charges against Richard Hart, founder of Hex, PulseChain, and PulseX projects, accusing them of being scams. The associated tokens, already hit by a disappointing PulseChain launch, plummeted by another 50% upon the news. The SEC alleges that Hart recycled investor funds during Hex's initial presale, significantly inflating its success and attracting more victims. Additionally, the SEC criticized Hex's fake staking program, which offered high returns for locking up tokens. The flawed financial model and lack of utility have led to massive losses for investors. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Bye. Hi, Tether Holdings Limited, the issuer of USDT, crypto's largest stablecoin, announced $850 million in Q2 profits, primarily from treasury bills, comprising 64% of its assets. These profits are part of the $86.5 billion in reserves backing USDT, as attested by BDO Italia. Tether's profitability outshines all blockchain-native projects, including Ethereum, which generated $780 million in fees in the last 90 days. Amid the ongoing bear market, Tether's strong performance is aided by the rising U.S. interest rates, which are at 22-year highs. However, doubts persist over the legitimacy of attestations and the company's dwindling cash reserves, as it faces past controversies and lawsuits. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Bye. Hi, Litecoin, the second oldest blockchain network, successfully completed its third block reward halving, reducing minor rewards to 6.25 LTC per block from 12.5 LTC. The halving event occurs every 840,000 blocks, and LTC's supply is expected to reach its limit by the year 2142. Following the issuance change, LTC experienced a 6% drop after a 30% rally in the six weeks leading up to the event. Anticipation for Bitcoin's fourth halving is also growing, as it historically preceded bull trends for BTC and the broader crypto market. Litecoin founder, Charlie Lee, explained that transaction fees from on-chain activity are expected to support miners' income in the future. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.